Uh, I think we all starting to get on the same page. Our, our, our offense can match our defense. We'll be really good shape. If at first you don't succeed, try again. And the Boston Celtics had their second chance against the Cleveland Cavaliers in their miniseries on Monday night and were able to respond with a 98-92 to point win. Now the Celtics were behind by two at halftime but picked up their intensity in the second half to take their first lead of the game in the third quarter and stuck with it down the stretch to pull this one out. Well, I loved our pace and aggressiveness in the second half. Uh, like I said, we didn't we didn't play with that much energy in the first half offensively. I felt defensively we were great. Um, and so we emphasized just, just playing faster, playing freer and, and, and finding your teammates. And so we were downhill attacking right from the start in the second half. They called a quick, pretty quick timeout. And I, I told the guys that's the pace we need to play with, the energy and the effort we need to play with offensively. And we carried that over through the second half. So that's a good sign going forward. Just like the fact that we stayed with it. Um, we didn't get rattled. Um, you know, they were making some tough shots down the stretch there. I mean, really good defense. Uh, some calls that didn't go our way and um, just our group being poised and um, you know, I think for us that starts a lot with you know with Jason and you know he, he's pretty calm in those moments and um, uh, you know it's just kind of following that and making sure that we you know we finish the game the right way. Obviously we been competing um, communication. I think we all starting to get on the same page. Our, our offense can match our defense. We'll be really good shape. Now Rob Williams left the game and did not return, and post-game Ime Odoka said that Williams felt some soreness in his knee in the second quarter. He wasn't sure if he bumped it on something or not, but he said it was tied at halftime and did feel a sharp pain in it. So the coaching staff decided that it was best to keep him out, and they will know more when he gets tested and has the knee looked at further.